Alright, welcome guys to my let's play of Harold Halibut, the demo. So this game caught my attention because I'm not gonna say I this game blew me away. I, I love it. I love a lot of things. Donuts, tacos, sprite art or pixel art, pardon, animation, like traditional animation. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm brain farting. Trish animation. Um, frick. Stop motion. There we go. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. Um, so I, I, I was going through, you know, Twitter, and because Steam Fest is happening right now, and of course you guys are seeing this in March, because, as usual, I'm recording this during Steam Fest, but I'm posting it later, because I like to be late to the party. This time I'm going to a Brenner party, and... I have the waffles, but all of them are eaten. All I have is the, the maple syrup. <laughs> um, so I saw it, I watched the trailer, I did the holy pickles. I really want to play this game. And that's all I'm going to say. Of course, by now, good chance you guys have seen it. You know why I'm excited about it. Um, but let's just get into it, shall we? I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no. But, but wait, I I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the Social District is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Wait, but only last month it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now let's get you over to the Fine Secretary so we can all get on with our day. fell foul of the end user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. 
I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. Like, holy shit. Like, the graphics. I love it. I, I want to know if it's like... If it is stop motion, or if it's like 3D models with like the proper like like um cloth, um I forget what they call them cloth filters. I forget what they call them. But I'm really curious how the animation is done. Like, is it puppetry? Is it a mixture of stop motion with 3D animation? I'm so curious. But I'm gonna I, I'm gonna sit here and ramble all day. Um, I'll look it up after this video. Let's let's get going into playing the game. Also, look at his walk cycle. Oh my goodness! Like holy pickles. Okay, let's talk to you. Can't you just put this on my account? I'll pay as soon as I. Mr. Halibut, you don't have an account. Not since we blocked it. Please, Mr. Secretary. Let me just. I mean, look. Can't we? <laughs> Your name is Mr. Secretary. <laughs> Uh, my title, young man, is All Water Secretary Number 24. It is not my name. Anyway, I'm afraid All Water Corporation can't be seen to make exceptions. You'll have to go through the proxy payment process like everyone else. I mean, what would happen if you just let me go? I would have to file a B-52, and you would quickly be on the very displeased end of Major Sandstrom. <sighs> The rules and regulations are there for a reason, Mr. Halibut. I'm not strict for the fun of it, but otherwise, things would be unfair. We can't be having preferential treatment now, can we? Hmm. I suppose not. Mr. Secretary, is there any possibility of me getting out of here on my own? Okay, look, let me check the protocols. I must apologize. I've combed the precedents and records, and there really are no options open to you. That was great. Okay, let's talk to the kid. Oh, he, it's the animation. I wouldn't say it's like type, but when he's turning, you feel that sense of like stall. Um, how the character, like you, you instantly want the character to go left, but they, they got that animation to turn proper. It's, it's weird. <laughs> Anywho, let's talk to the kid. So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for Allwater? What? No, I meant... Because it was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. Felix? Hi, Ma! Uh, look, before you say anything... Whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van Der Vaart. Have a pleasant day. You too, Master Van Der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! We reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important, <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and company, we seem to have discovered something super cool. Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theater to for some important information. Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. 
completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. Oh, okay, now we can get out of here. I wanna, I'm curious, can I talk to you? No consequence going back here. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Nope, I can't talk to you further. Mr. Halibut, you'll need this before you go. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. I can't wait. Just gonna check the plant. Nope, can't do anything with the plant. Okay, let's go. Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time. This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. I'm sorry, Professor. Wait, can I, can I do a tube travel? They did say I can tube travel within 24 hours. Is this a tube? Are you a tube? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing Central Station. This location is not accessible via your permission slip, and you know it. Okay. Um. Okay, that is where we are. Just, just double checking. All right. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You have arrived. The reason, sir, is that Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. But why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. I don't know the exact condition. I want to listen to the dialogue, but I mean, I want to keep going. Uh, lab district? So will we get discounts on the other lines as a result of the inconvenience? Destination decided. Enjoy the view. But Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on. What's a butterfly? That sounds silly. A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in, uh, extra natural moments in life. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting, and delicate. Ergo, you never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but but all water raised the tube fares again, and they never announce it properly. This time it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who- Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filter station yet? And did you need to feed the fish too? Ah, yes, those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, uh, I'm sure those are all my tasks for the day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. 
Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it. And I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so, I access the list. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? The upper right of the pad! Ah, uh, yeah. Top of the four buttons, right? Okay, open close PBA. Oh, hello. Cool. Then I use the navigation nub to highlight and then hit the bottom button. Precisely. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to go back, right? Indeed. Now hop to it. And I'll see you at the Agora Arcades when you're done. Okay, so clean the filter and feed the fish. Okay, so let's feed the fish. Frat, it's out of food. Better ask Cyrus about this. Okay, so I have to find a Cyrus. Nothing in here. Although plot-wise, with him being like head up in the clouds and everything, I can't remember what the movie was called, which doesn't help with my um, talk of it. Um, but it was like uh, the office guy that was like he was always imagining, imagining uh, like adventures and certain things that were, that would happen. They're really out there, and then, like, he left to go to New Zealand to just go. I forget what it's called. It was a really good movie. Editing Paul will find it and smack it somewhere on the screen. So, I believe in Editing Paul. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Um, it's really good. I, I shouldn't say I, I highly recommend watching it. I don't know how well it like holds up nowadays back then it was good okay so we should uh, find the Cyrus oh oh weird you can zoom in does he have a run button there we go there's our jog our swift jog okay oh no that's oh 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 it's our it's our house our room Words are great. Okay. So wait, can I go this way? No. There's a little carpet that tells me I could go that way, but no. Um, let's go here. This is the tunnel system. Kate, nope. Not where I want to go. Ah, uh, Harold. Perfect timing. Oh, Senior Tenenbaum. You too. I was just hoping to watch some Sun Tzu's Ash. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, I think it's one of those all-water ad-only models. Ah. Should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. Oh, okay, um... Let's start from the top. What is Sonsu's Ash? Yes! Sonsu Zashk, Eternal Love. Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. I thought season 18 was bad, what with all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth powering through to season 36, though. That's where the plot really thickens. I'll try to check it out sometime. Crunchy herring pops. 
What brings you to the lounge anyway? Fish, fish, Will you guess that the tubes to the utility fish, district fish, and the social fish, district are down fish, again? Fish, fish, Strangely, fish, yes. I can believe that. You drink it good, Does that mean school is out? Just drink yep. The bambinos are happy, and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. The whole social district is off limits right now. So at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? I suppose it is. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. I'll be here if you want some company. Okay. So I guess we go down to level one. Uh, WC. Anything here? No. Okay. Go down to level two. Rotation pump. Observatory. Botanical concepts. Hey, Sai. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? Uh, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer, what, the slow release phosphates and nitrogen? But we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the. Sai, Sai. That sounds very interesting, but what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes. Sorry, rat. Didn't I restock the other night? <sighs> Must have just thought about it. I'll have to formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But, I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it. Promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, yep. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Uh, you should try some too. Uh, thanks. I'll let you know what they think. Oh, did you see that? Was that fish real? Oh, I'm not sure. I mean... Even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. Do you remember their first messages? Ha, uh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes, on all those little flyers. Handwritten, too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about... Exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy too? Interesting. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, also, he said his order incorrect. Because was it clean the fish and feed the filter, I think he said? It's interesting. Uh, can I go into the observatory? It doesn't look like I can. Okay, well, let's go to the filtration and fix it. Sorry, I was wondering if I could interact with that one thing. There's a squid tendril just chilling in the outside there. Okay, it's just, just chilling. Wait, is it purple and green? Are you purple and green? Kinda look like a particular tentacle from a game that may have a mansion in it, in it with a microwave and a hamster. Anywho, <laughs> okay, let's continue. Uh, sending over 
here. There we go. Oh, oh my. That's it. I, I guess that's it. Okay, then we gotta feed the fish. Fishy, your little dishy is now served. Okay, Herald bot diagnostic report. Scanning, scanning, all tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation, minimal. Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination, Agora Arcades. Thank you for that reminder, game. Let's go to the arcade. Man, the animation in this game is, like, amazing. Wait, wrong way. I'm supposed to go down the stairs. Such a pretty game. Like, holy pickles. Oh wait, no, that's my room. That's my room. Oops, 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 oops. I know my way around this place. Oh my goodness. Also, this little dot keeps popping up. I don't know if I've looked at it. I'm curious. similar to uh, what was in the green house, I'll just call it that. I guess it's food. But anywho, um, I guess I go left. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. Ah, why isn't this working? So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. the announcement. Okay, so we gotta go to the lounge. Hello again! Hey, Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Who be my guest? Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. We chose the stars. Not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess, but our ancestors did, and we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth, and where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. And then we made a new home, 
even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation over all others helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenna Castlechop. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenna Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlittmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. And of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And... Wait for it. Yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right, the buoy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. That was some announcement, huh? Sure. But I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? Before this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo. We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Hey, claro. At least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. Yep, we've gotten to know each other well. Okay, I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Errol. Okay, so let's go to sleep. Oh, interesting. There's a curfew like system. Okay. Oh, 
Oh boy, what a day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this running back and forth for people is tiring, man. But Agent Harrelson, that's what they pay you for. Don't let us down now. See what happens on this bright and sunny day. Morning, Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think of that announcement? It was quite fantastically self aggrandizing. Yes, it did go on a bit. The boy seems cool, though. Indeed. I'm sure it'll make a great source of distraction. Now, if you're quite ready. Sure. Um, ready for what? I made a breakthrough discovery at the Arboretum last night. Do you remember the last batch of bloomy rocks? Oh, the really small ones from the last intake? The ones with the strange shapes and the little holes and... The blue ones, yes. Turns out their surface composition doesn't just give us clues about our immediate aquatic environs. I think they've picked up some influences from outer space as well. Take a look through the microscope. You'll see what I mean. Just remind me exactly how that thing works again. Harold, are you fooling me? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. You need to open the hatch first. Now, activate the switch next to the door to open the sample shelf. Oh, oh, that's what we did. Oh, the sample shelf, okay. is in the container on the lower right. If you remember your left and right, bring it to the microscope and insert it into the... <laughs> it voila! Check the microscope and finally you'll see what I mean. The one you're looking at now seems to have picked up radiation from our nearest sun. There's a particular mark for each time there's been a solar flare. I can only see one mark? That's the problem. There isn't enough of a recording on this one. I dated it to roughly 40 BC. So we need an older one. For? Exactly. Older ones, ideally. Although I doubt we'll have much luck catching more of them by chance. Oh, yes. We have to figure out when there's going to be a gap between flares flares cause the solar winds. A gap between solar storms is our only window for leaving this place. I need you to look into this, Harold. If anyone on board has an older rock, we need it procured. Yes? But if we're not going to be able to catch one, where am I supposed to start looking? You could start at Tommy's store. You and I both know that guy somehow gets hold of whatever those filter stations spit out, and then sells them at an outrageous markup. Good evening, Jean. Nice to see you, Bridget. Is the sample in the microscope? I'm really curious to inspect it. Yes, you definitely should. Hey. Hey, you're the professor's assistant, Jeremy, right? Um, yes, but no, I'm Harold Halibut. I interned in your section for about a year. Oh, goodness, you're microwave boy. So, you do remember me. Yes, how could I forget that debacle? Actually, I've just met with your professor. Is everything okay? Not entirely, but I probably shouldn't be telling you. Okay, I'll... But I suppose if Moreau trusts you, I'm a bit worried about our ship's energy reserves. I thought I'd talk to your boss about it. She's the smartest person on board, isn't she? Uh, reserves, are we in some kind of trouble? You guys talked about the bloomy rocks, which we'll is start from the top and work away for the to the bottom. 
reserves? Are we in some kind of trouble? Now I've said too much. Ask Moreau. Perhaps she'll tell you more. Did you guys talk about the Bloomy Rocks at all? Moreau said I should maybe check with your husband. As a matter of fact, we did. As for my husband, you'll have to ask him. Which is more than I've been able to do the past few days. Knowing that infuriating rock collection, I'm sure he'll find you something. He's a sweetheart, really, you know? Go ask him. See you later. Bye, Richard. Okay, as much as I want to play this, I should end the episode here. I feel like this may be an hour long demo, or a little bit longer, but I'm pretty tired. So I'm going to wrap it up here. If there's not much left on the demo, um, I'll just merge the episodes together and wrap it up into a nice bow, kind of like I did with the Phantom Fellows demo. Uh, if it's longer, I'll break them into two parts, but I'm just going to go to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> Uh, so just in case, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this first half of the demo. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you like my Let's Play or first time watching it, hello, I'm Pasma. I play point and clicks. Um, mostly like old, new, retro, obscure, FMV, not MV. Whatever I feel like in the point and click category. So if you enjoy this so far, check out my other Let's Plays. Uh, give me a like, a follow. Uh, also, I guess comment. It, also, it's the shameless plug time now. Uh, comment, what do you think of the game so far? The animation, I'm really, really liking. I'm very curious where this game's gonna go story-wise. Um, also, I do stream on Twitch. Um, just trying to stream once a week, seeing how far I can go, and then try to go for two streams a week. Um, I, I'm streaming casual games right now. I'd like to get back into speedrunning, but we'll see how that goes. Um, with the added category of potato percent, basically stream till my my little one wakes up. But anywho, with that all said and done, you guys have a good morning, a good evening, good night, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.